Number 84. In a recent Grand Prix, the winner completed the race with an average speed of 229.8 kilometers per hour. What is his speed in miles per hour, meters per second, and feet per second? Okay, so I think this one is actually the first time that we are doing a double conversion, meaning that there's going to be two units that we have to work with. So, our given is 229.8 kilometer per hour. So, just know that H is hour. I like to put hour as HR. It doesn't matter. Just know that H or HR means hour. And we have three different answers here. So, I'm just going to put one, two, and three. So, they want you to convert miles, so MI, per hour. They want to go to meters per second and feet, so I'll just put FT, feet per second. Okay, so I guess we'll just work from one to two to three. So I'm going to put here for number one, we want to convert 229.8 kilometer per hour into mile per hour. So MI per hour. Now I know we've been doing a lot of road work. I mean the road map work. So this is basically the same thing, but now you're just working with a numerator unit and a denominator unit. So now here we want to convert from kilometer to mile. Do we know a direct conversion from kilometer to mile? Yes, we do. If we look at the length, it says right here, one kilometer equals 0.62137 miles. So we can use this conversion factor to go directly from kilometer to mile. Now, if we look at the bottom, it's just hours to hours. It's the same unit, so we don't even have to worry about the bottom for now. So in this case, it's literally just one um, conversion because it's a direct conversion. So let's give it a shot. 229.8 kilometer per hour times by a ratio. It's the same thing as before. You don't want kilometer, so that goes on the opposite side, and miles goes up on the top. And the conversion is one kilometer equals 0 0.62137. And look, the kilometers will cancel, and what do you have left? You have miles per hour. Oh, that's that's what they wanted. They wanted miles per hour because those are the two units that can't cancel. So we have our units. So in this case, it's just a direct one conversion. So 229.8 times 0.62137 is 142.79, 142.79. And now we just have to use the correct sig figs. There are four sig figs here. So there's got to be four in the answer. So I'm just going to put four here. And there should be four in the answer. So the one, four, two, and the seven. The nine will round up the seven to an eight. So this would be 142.8 miles per hour. That is the first answer here. So the first answer would be 142.8 miles, and you could either just slash it here as well. So it doesn't matter whether you put it, you know, miles per hour as like a fraction or a slash, it's the same exact answer. Okay, now let's try to work off of um, the answer that we got here. So let's see. Now you don't have to, you could always start with the 229.8 kilometer per hour. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna piggyback off of the answers. To kind of give some, you know, variation. So for B, or number two, you want to go 142.8 miles. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do the, the beginning number because just so that we don't get wrong answers with rounding. So I'm just going to take the 229.8 kilometer per hour. And now I'm going to go to meters per second. So let's see. The first thing I want to do is I want to convert from kilometers to meters. Can I do that in one single shot? Yes, I can. Because um, you should know a direct conversion between kilometers and meters for now. That's your SI units, right? You guys should know that there's a thousand meters and that equals one kilometer. 
or you could say 10 to the third meters equals one kilometer. So this is a direct conversion, one single conversion here. Now, how do you go from hours to minutes? Oh, well, sorry, I kind of just gave you the, the answer there. But how do you go from hours to seconds? Well, you, you got to stop at minutes first, right? Because we know how many minutes are in an hour, and we know how many seconds are in a minute. So we can go to minutes first, and then go to seconds. So let's give this one a shot. So start with what you're given, 229.8 kilometer per hour. So I'll just put HR. Times by a ratio. Kilometer goes on the bottom. Meter goes up on the top. I just like to work with the numerators first and then I'll work with the denominators, but it doesn't matter. Um, a thousand meters equals one kilometer, so that gets done there. So now I have my meters answer. Now we just got to work with the hours part. And you could keep working as a single conversion, so times by ratio. Now this one is where it gets a little tricky. Now here, the hours are on the bottom. So you have to put it on the opposite side. And in this case, it's the top. And you go to minutes. Now, what do we know? Well, we know that there's 60 minutes equals one hour. So for every one hour, there's 60 minutes. And look what happens to the hours. They will cancel. And now we're left with minutes, but we want seconds. So we just got to do one more conversion. Put the minutes on the opposite side, so minutes goes up on the top, seconds goes on the bottom, and we should know that there's 60 seconds for every one minute. So 60 and 1, and the minutes will cancel. And now you're left with seconds on the bottom, which is what you want. You wanted meters on the top and seconds on the bottom. So now we just simplify as we did before. So basically the numerator would be 229 point eight times a thousand times sixty so I'll just put it up here one point three seven eight eight times ten to the one two three four five six seven divide that by sixty right and then we should get our answer so this divided by sixty so we get two two nine eight 2.298 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to the fifth. We just need four sig figs, right? Because that's what we were given here in the beginning problem. So we just need four sig, sig figs at the end, and we do, right? 2.298 times 10 to the fifth, and then we just have to include the units of meter per second. So that is the answer for the second one. So this one is 2.298 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. And now we just got to go to feet per second. So I will do this one up at the top. So I'll just put number three over here. So we'll just start with what we're given. We got 229.8 kilometer per hour. And we want to go to feet per second. Do we know a direct conversion between kilometer and feet? Hmm. Looks like we don't, right? If we look at the length, all here is eh, not good, right? But what do we know? Well, we technically know that there's, let me just write it down here. We should know that there's three feet in one yard, right? And the yard is over here. And that is equal to a meter. So the first thing that we got to do is we got to go to meters. Then we can go to yard. Then we can go to feet. So that one's a big one. And then the same thing as before, hours to seconds. We can do the two-step conversion, or it would even be better. I'll try this one out. But you guys should know that there's 3,600 seconds in one hour if you wanted to jump past the minute stage. You could either go hours to minutes to seconds, or if you just want to memorize that there is uh, 3,600 seconds in one hour, you could just jump right past. So let's give it a shot. 229.8 kilometer per hour times by the ratio. Kilometer goes on the bottom. We're going to do meters up at the top. That one you should know, right? The 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So 1,000 
meters equals one kilometer. Get rid of that. That's that part. Now let's go to yards. Meter on the bottom, yard up on top. And we're going to use this conversion. One meter equals 1.0936 yards. So one meter equals 1.0936 yards. The meters will cancel. That's this part. And now we just got to go to feet. So yard on the bottom, feet up top. We know from before three feet equals one yard. So three feet equals one yard. So now we're at this stage of the game where we have feet. Now let's just pass the minutes phase and try to just go from hours to seconds. So in this case, the hours are on the bottom. So when you do your next conversion, now I'm just going to move this up here so that I just have a little bit more room. But hours are on the bottom here, so you always got to put on the opposite side. So hours are going to be on the top here and seconds are on the bottom. Use this conversion. It will, you know, skip a step. It will make everything much simpler. 3,600 seconds per every one hour. Cancel out the hours, and now what's left? Oh, feet per second. So now we just got to do this big math. So multiply all the tops, and then get the denominator and simplify. So I'm going to do 229.8 times 1,000 times 1 1.0. 936 times 3, and you get 7.5393 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by, everything is 1 except for the 3600, so just like that, and now I just have to divide the 2, so 3600. Zero, zero. 3.5393 times 10 to the 5th divided by 3600, you get 209.4. So I will put that over here. So this answer was 209.4 feet per second. And that's your answer to the last conversion. So those are your three answers. All right, guys? Hope this helped out a lot. This one was the first one that we did, the double conversion, so hopefully it is a little bit less scary. Tell us down in the comments what you thought, and if you want more answers, just click the subscribe button um, so that you'll be the first to know, right, when our next batch is coming out. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next question. See you later.